are you doing back there, you bastard? Ah, uh, that light's fucking up my folk. Hey guys, ah, uh, there's no one. Sort of old, but uh, you can't see it. But out there's a 92. This one's a 90 years older. Fuck, you don't go on older. Ah, eh? uh, ah. Uh. Phone doesn't like the light light enough. 2.946, got AC. Said does, except it's the old fucking V belt style. Three different pulleys. Uh, it is 4x4. Four four. And one thing I make you. Pull it. Perfect. You clean up some of your shit. <laughs> Uh, maybe he's going to make enough guys somewhere. Uh, the hole underneath this fucking truck, you wouldn't believe it. It's that solid. All the floors are solid. You now he's got the surface dress freaking everywhere. But all the floors are solid. The tank's solid. Zoss new from here back. Zoss new from there all the way back. But, uh, yeah, it's picking it up. Yeah, one hell of a fucking leak of just about everything. And so, you can tell up here, <laughs> leaking oil somewhere. Big asshole starter. Leaking oil somewhere. And, come further back, tranny fluid too, somewhere. Be able to figure out where. There's one random dry spot on the fucking tranny. On the tranny. Like I said, yes, it is 4x4. Starts up, runs mint. Just had to fight to get the fucking back drums off. The one was seized on. 4.30 in the morning, and we're idiots. But, um, one thing, I know there isn't many of them left, and I forget how to tell. Sides taken off the front diff, pretty well taking out the axle. There was a couple uh, Ford Ranger 4x4s where the front and the rear diff were both limited slips. Uh, I don't know if you guys, Redneck Reckham, his 89 Ranger was a limited slip front and a limited slip rear. Um, but I don't know if there's a way to tell without taking the fucking diff apart. I think there is, I just don't remember. So, part one, that's you got a foreign, uh, Skyjacker lift on it. Kinda nice. Her, got a Skyjacker shock. <laughs> Coils on. Bad boys. Four inch, uh, Lift block, but leaking just about everywhere. Oil, training fluid, fucking runs mint though. Free line, probably front road. That one looks a little thin. That definitely looks a little thin. And overall, good truck. Oh, I see some fiberglass work. Heat a box has been repaired once before. Picking that up way up there or not. What up there? Yeah, there it is. There's a fucking fiberglass all over the heater box. All well, the body mounts are fine. Oh, it's got some issues. It's got some cancer, but it's still good. Can it sound? God damn. It's got, uh, yeah, four by fours, manual locking hubs, both sides. Locker. There's the lockers on a look size. Got the shocks, the springs, and everything, but yeah, you know, you guys are. Camera's picking that up and crushed the asshole brake lines. Fuck. Yeah, nice truck. Paid for it. Fuck. Mickey Thompson tires. Lots of meat on a big ass sidewall. What'd you say these were? 19 and a half by what? Yeah, it's a 31 tire. Or 31 inch tire, 11 and a half wide rim. Needs a clutch, but I don't know if you guys can let me know if we can tell without taking the diff part if it's a limited or not. And if we have to take this part, then we're not gonna do it. Uh, rear passenger side axle seal might be leaking. The driver's side one looks fine. But we gotta drop the tranny to do the clutch, so I will try and keep you guys posted as we slowly do work on this fucking thing. Box is pretty well shot everywhere. This front driver's side fender down here, uh, it's not really picking that up, but it's a big ass hole if you're picking at it. The door's got some surface dress, which isn't bad. For the most part, it's solid. Anyways, guys, yeah, let me know about that front axle and where we would look first for all that fucking leakage underneath there. <laughs> Anyways, take care, guys.